There are lots of wonderful titles of the jobs here, but Sarah Goldson's got a brilliant one, which is Ball Boys and Girls Training Manager in charge of 250 Ball Boys and Girls. How did you start into that job? Um, I got the job back in 2011. Uh, my background, I'm a, I'm, well, I'm still a teacher and uh, work for the LTA as a referee. So the two things, I think, helped out. Yeah, I think the, yeah, the teacher part of that is particularly important. Uh, when I was 14, 15, I thought I wanted to be a ball girl, loved tennis. But uh, I think you had to be local to London at that point, so it wasn't something for me. Is that still the case now? Yeah, that's still true. So we work with 31 schools in the area and um, each school gets a quota and then the, the school send us their best kids. I do remember that I knew it was very intense training. Can you explain the process of, of, of how you choose the ball boys and girls that come out here? They come for selection in January and we put them through quite a rigorous uh, process of tests, fitness and skills and things like that. And then we take the top ones from there and then they enter the tra training programme. And there's no guarantee they make it to the end. Obviously we, we want them to, but they need to maintain a standard to get to the championships. And even when they get here, they then get put into groups, do they, for centre court or the show courts and the outside courts? How does it work when they're, once they're actually into the championships? So we have 42 teams, uh, six in each team. Every team's got a captain uh, and there'll be certain teams who rotate around the show courts. There's an awful lot of discipline involved. I know you mentioned that you're a teacher, but what happens if anybody does step out of line slightly or does that just not happen? The, the discipline's very high because uh, obviously the, we, you're talking about 150 people, teenagers out on court on their own. Uh, so they walk in silence um, to and from court and on court obviously they're very disciplined. But in the complex where they're relaxing, they're just normal kids having fun. <laughs> uh, they must enjoy the atmosphere here. They must enjoy almost sort of talking to the players. What, what do they tell you about it after the two weeks? Well, I, I've seen a few of them come back off the so the Djokovic match, uh, I think it was yesterday, the tie break, and some of them really rise to the occasion of you know the crowd and things like that. They love those sort of moments. Um, and even on the outside courts, there's been some great matches, so they just, they just enjoy the atmosphere, I think. And do they actually end up having a bit of banter? Sometimes you've got somebody like Nick Kyrgios who loves chatting away, so the, the ball boys and girls must get involved in that. They do, they do. Obviously, we say to them that they're not there to speak to the player, but obviously the if the player asks them something, then they would respond. Uh, but yeah, there's minimal conversations with the players. I saw a brilliant picture this week of the, obviously with the sprinklers that went off on one of the courts and there was a little ball boy at the back who was desperately trying not to laugh. He clearly was taking the discipline very seriously. Yes, we, we did. We watched that actually today. And uh, one of the centres who stood there, I think he was trying not to move, but he realised that he could move because he was going to get wet otherwise. Uh, yes, they really do know how to uh, do the discipline side of things. Uh, over the fortnight, can they move around the different courts? How does that work? If you're wanting to be on centre court, but you're maybe on an outside court, do you get do you get moved up, I suppose, as it is? As it is? Coming into the championships, we pretty much know who be the show court teams, um, but obviously they they need to maintain a standard to stay, stay on there. The other teams rotate rotate around the other courts and occasionally some of them will get on there but we don't have too many teams. I think the players like to see familiar faces and obviously the experience they need to go on those top courts. Oh, that's really interesting. So, so some of the players will know that they've got the same boy, ball boys and girls on those courts again and again and they, they do actually get to recognise them. Yeah, because uh, there's only, this year I think I've had six teams rotating around centre and number one and also the umpire is very familiar with them. Um, as they come on court and things like that. I think that's quite important. Yeah, that makes a big difference. It must be fascinating for them and, and very special memories. Thanks very much.